Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at how to multiply radicals. Um, your essential question, what are three important things to remember when multiplying radicals? So I want you to think about how we do it and some things you have to check for. The first thing that I have listed on here is the product property of radicals. And so what the product property is telling us is that if I have two radicals being multiplied together, then what we can do is we can actually put it underneath the same radical. Or vice versa, you can always um, split it apart. An example might be just an easy one. If I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, this property is just telling us that I can put it all together under the same radical sign, and I would say that it's the square root of 6. Obviously, if it needed to simplify, then we would simplify it some more, and that's what we're going to talk about in the example problems below. So let's find the product of these expressions in simplest form, okay? Um, so for the first example, it's the square root of 3 times the square root of 15. Now, we can do this two ways. We can approach it two ways. If we want to go ahead and put it underneath the same radical sign, we have two options from here. We could think about birthday caking the 15 and then looking for pairs. Or, if you want to go ahead and put it together and multiply 3 times 15 to get 45, and then you could birthday cake the 45. Either way, if your product is coming out to be a really large number, that's when I would recommend going from here. And we'll look at an example like that in just a second. So now we need to make sure this is simplified. So we're going to birthday cake um, 45, and see I'm already broken it back down to 3 times 15, so sometimes it's silly to repeat our work. Okay, and so then I have a pair of 3's with a 5 left over, so it would be 3 the square root of 5. Okay. The next example is a little bit different because we have coefficients and we have radicals, and so I want you to remember that coefficients multiply together, okay, and radicals multiply together. It's just as if it would be 7x times 3x, okay, same kind of thing. Um, so here we're going to do 7 times 3 is 21, and then the square root of 6 times the square root of 10 is the square root of 60. Now, pretty sure that the square root of 60 is not simplified, so now we're, I'm going to birthday cake the 60. Let's see, we get 2 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 5, 5 and 1. Okay, so we have a pair of 2's that comes out, 21 times 2, with the 3 and the 5 left underneath. And so this is going to be 42, the square root of 15. Okay. The next one is going to involve the distributor property. So we're going to distribute. Remember when we're multiplying and distributing, we can distribute it to anything. They don't have to be like terms. Now right here, I'm just going to write this to the side because I want you to see what we're doing. We're doing negative 3 the square root of 3 times 2. 2 is not a radical. So the 2 and the negative 3 get multiplied together and then it stays the square root of 3. Okay, for the next one, just so you can see it a little bit better, you don't have to write this step, but it, I just want you to see it. So negative 3, there's no coefficient here other than 1, so it's just going to be negative 3, and then we're going to multiply the square root of 3 and the square root of 6, so the square root of 18. We need to check to see if it can be simplified, the square root of 3 definitely cannot, but the square root of 18 can. I have a pair of 3's that comes out, so now it's negative 6 to the square root of 3 minus 9, because I'm multiplying it, the square root of 2. Those are not like terms, so we can't go any further. There is our simplified expression. 
Okay. Now let's look at this next one. I want to show you how you could do it. So if I do 75 times 2, um, that's going to be what, 150? And so that might take and be a little bit harder to birthday cake. And so what I'm going to suggest is what you could do is go ahead and birthday cake the 75. So that would be 3 and 25. I don't know why I struggle with that. 3 and 25, 5 and 5, 5 and 1. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that those are my numbers. Those are my prime factors of the 75 and the 2. So you can see here I have a pair of 5s that comes out and I have the 3 and the 2 left over so that would make the square root of 6. My x's, if I put them together I have x to the 4th which means I have two pairs of x's so x squared and then my y doesn't have a partner. Okay. Now if you wanted to, you could put it all together first, 150 x to the fourth y, and then simplify it from there. Okay, I want you to use those examples from above, and I want you to try the next two problems on your own, and we will check them when you come to class.